Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you an NFL Week 8 preview between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Giants. Now, let's start with the road team, Miami, in this ball game. I look at what they can do offensively against New York. It's up to Matt Moore, the quarterback, to get this passing game going. There's a lot of talent out there on the flanks. You have Devon Best, you have Brandon Marshall. Anthony Fasano is a solid tight end. So there's talent out there on the flanks and there's place to be had with, against this Giants secondary. So I look for that team to get ready to throw the football against the New York Giants. That's something that's gonna have to be a forefront this week for the Dolphins. And also the Giants defense is a little bit soft in the run game, the run defense department. So look for Daniel Thomas to get some carries and also Reggie Bush to have some success against that Giants defensive front. And that's going to give the Dolphins the balance they need in order to play effective offensive football. Now defensively coming to this ball game, Quiet has kept the Giants have one of the more well-balanced attacks as far as passing the football is concerned in the NFL. These guys get as many targets involved, so it's up to the Dolphins front seven to get pressure because if you allow Eli Manning to sit back there in the pocket guess what he's going to find Hakeem Nix he's going to find Manningham he's also going to find Victor Cruz and also Jake Ballard so the defensive front of the Miami Dolphins has to get to Eli Manning that's a huge key into key to victory for the Miami Dolphins also defensively I look at the outside linebacker play if they can control the edge in a running game it's going to keep Bradshaw bottled up and he won't be able to bounce things outside and take advantage of the holes in the defense now you look at the Giants in this game Giants are coming off a bye and teams that are coming off a bye this year are faring poorly but I think the Giants are well equipped they're playing at home a team that seems to have been defeated already I look at what they can do offensively to attack the Miami Dolphins stay in those spread formations. Right now, the Giants passing game is looking explosive. Eli Manning, 11 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, is playing outstanding right now. That has to continue, and the Dolphins are very lean in the secondary, so continue to stay in the spread and pick your poison. I like the way they've got Jake Ballard involved in the ball game. That just opens up a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities for those wide receivers. They're going to have to continue to do that this week, and the running game will pop because of the ability to spread these guys out in the passing game. Now, you look at the defensive side of the football. The Giants can be a little bit more aggressive defensively against Matt Moore. He has a tendency to hold the football a little bit too long, and if you hold the football just a half a second longer than you're supposed to against the New York Giants, I guess what? It's a strip sack. It's a fumble. Everything can go wrong if they continue to hold on to the football. So the Giants can get a little bit more aggressive this week against the Miami Dolphins. Now look for the linebacker play. I look at the inside linebackers as far as Greg Jones. He has to do a great job of diagnosing the run right away and playing downhill. Don't take your steps back. Play downhill. The Dolphins don't threaten you in the passing game with the running backs. So look for Greg Jones to be a little bit more aggressive as far as playing downhill. And that can have a huge success in what the Giants want to do defensively. Now let's look at some X factors in this ball game. X factors for the Miami Dolphins has to be Matt Moore. If he can stay upright and stay mobile because he's fairly athletic, he can do some damage in finding the targets because there are some plays to be had, like I said before, against the Giants secondary. X factor for the Giants has to be Jake Ballard. He's going to be the key. He's a tight end. If he can control the middle of the field, I have full confidence and whoever's going to be the slot receiver, whether it be Victor Cruz or Mario Manningham, could find some success against the nickel and dime corners of the Miami Dolphins. I'm going with the Giants in this game. Right now, the passing game for the Giants is playing lights out. I like the way Eli Manning is playing. The defense is going to be their defense, very aggressive. And I think they have enough as a team to shut down what Miami is going to come in and try to do offensively. For more NFL coverage, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.